Hey guys, it's me, and I lied about the whole <laughs> we're gonna play Dragon's Age or whatever the hell I said because uh, this thing came out on Steam like five days ago, and well, I kind of had to take all my plans and throw them out the window because this is my second favorite game of all time, you know, you understand, yeah. I have to play around with the loading screens a little bit, so you might see the video cut out randomly. But, we're gonna play through the entire story, starting with the hero story. There's two sides. That was the stick of this game when it came out. It was like, you get to play as the bad guys! Whoa! So we're gonna just play as Sonic and Knuckles and all those people first. Sigma Alpha 2, heading due south over the city. We're en route, everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radio. I love that accent. It kills me every time. Some captured hedgehog board. Over. That's a ten four. Ugh. Cargo secured on board and what? Then we got him. Over. He's taking out everyone aboard. And what's wrong? What in the Come world? Come here. Over. Freeze. What do you think you're doing? Get that hedgehog. about low-budget flights, no food or movies, I'm out of here. I like running better. Yeah! Sonic the Hedgehog, Professional Vandal. Oh dear, it's memory lane. Oh my goodness, God. So fast, so fast, so fast. Woo! I still got it, though. If I can still do tricks like that, I'm good. Hang on a second. Uh, got this corner! Ooh. Oh, son of a bitch. Lost momentum. Eh. Huh. Miss those rings. Dang it. I was hoping to be a badass. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna shout, go away. I don't like you. Never have liked you, you're just annoyance. <laughs> Run inside a wall! Get those! Huh. Oh, I love this game. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'd go into more backstory about why I love it so much, but it's better to just show you. Needless to say, this is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy Let's Playing the hell out of this. Yeah. It does so good with the speed! And the control is so clean, it's so great! Oh, oh crap, I missed the last one. Whatever. The only thing I don't like is apparently on the Dreamcast version, the camera likes to spaz out sometimes. But, we can get around that. I'm gonna get this chow box up here, don't mind me. <laughs> get the fuck out of here! Okay, I'll explain what that is at the end of the level. Can't stop talking! Must keep moving! Need. Whee! I really don't know what the hell's up with the camera. I guess it's just because it's the Dreamcast port. Because <laughs> normally it doesn't do this. It's all like, wee! You can see everything from ten different angles that you don't need to see it from. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wee! Didn't mean to hit that in ball mode, but whatever. We're running down the side of a building! Uh, uh, come on! Give me a handstand! There we go. You have to wait until the little red thing lines up. And I have invincibility and I can't stop talking. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to see you there and stuff. Dear God. <sighs> I really need to fix this camera. This is ridiculous. I don't know why it's doing this. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, it's probably just me. It's probably the controller is screwing up. Note to self unplug and replug Xbox controller, then mail it back. Eh. Come on! Come on, go faster! This is not fast enough! I am not amused! Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I'm going so fast I can't even keep up with the rings. There's going to be like a trail of rings that follows us to the very finish, so I've got to like wait a second. Eh. Because we need these. We need rings for things. Rings are very good. Can't stop running though, because a uh, giant truck will kill us. Was that big the cat back there? I never noticed him back there before. It's definitely a Dreamcast exclusive. It's got to be. Okay. And then you even move the position of the ring. Did a lot of things different. Okay, cool. Well, um, are the are are my things coming? Rings, rings. Did I leave you behind? Are you still coming? Please, please tell me you are. I need you for things. Eh, whatever. We'll go ahead and just go it. Yes. Yes. And stuff. Da, 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 da. Ding. B. Son of a bitch! Are you kidding me? It's probably because I got the camera screwed up that one time. I would have A-ranked it otherwise. I got all like hung up on the stairs. Hello world indeed. What a good achievement. Oh, this is for going to Chow World. I forgot about Chow World! Oh my god. This game's amazing. This game's so amazing, you guys. You don't even know how amazing this game is yet. I managed to pick up a unicorn on that run too. Sweet! Alright, well, this is sort of the mini-game, I guess, of, uh, of this, and I don't remember how this works. I think I had a Game Boy Advance this worked with before, but whatever. Okay, let me try to remember some of this. We need to pick up this, and I think the best way to hatch it is to go shake it like that. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it, Sonic. Shake that egg. Shake it! Chicken, 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 chicken. It's ready. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. That is a fiendish little thing. I love it. I will pet you. This is our adorable little friend. He is a Chow. And Chow are awesome because you can make them do things. This Chow, however, uh, well, he's just creepy, but he's going to be our hero Chow that we're going to give things to with our hero characters for the purpose of heroicness, and that will make sense later, I promise. But we're pretty much going to just give him whatever the hell, I think. I think that's the best way to do it, is just give him whatever the heck animals we come up with. And when you give him animals, he learns animal traits. Like, they'll start acting like whatever animals you feed them. And I use the word feed very loosely because it's kind of odd to imagine a little baby thing walking up and consuming a small animal. <laughs> like, oh, nom 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 nom. But he's already starting to change color a little bit from all the things we're giving him. Let me see if I can grab this rabbit without leaving. Okay, there we go. That's good. I hate it when all these animals try to make a run for it by just running out. There we go. And so our little buddy has all of his little animal friends. I think we have one more drive to give him. And I need to explain all of what's happening right now. This is all going so fast just because I'm like... I'm like nostalgiaing all over the place. Oh, we don't care about that thing. Hang on a second. I don't think I can actually take it with me. Whatever, we'll play with that later. I'll go back to the Chow Garden and explain everything that just happened. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay, bring it on! Roger, Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Intruder has been located. Copy that. First boss fight. This guy is really easy um, compared to all the other bosses, especially the other bosses kind of like him. Because you can damage him pretty much all the time. I really didn't know this when I was a kid, though, so... Eh. I had a little bit more trouble with him than I should have. And he's a little tricky if you try to get him while he's blowing up these boxes. Sometimes it doesn't really happen the way you want it to. But we'll just keep one ring. 
The time when you're supposed to attack him is after he does his little volley of rockets, like so. Because he just stands perfectly still for you and waits for it. So let's see if we can get a whack on him. Oh, son of a bitch. I got close. A for effort. We don't have any more boxes to stand on, though, so we can't get any free hits in. We just have to wait for him now. Oh god! I thought I would be able to get around him there in the corner. This is Spider Troop Bigfoot. Bigfoot to headquarters. Over. We engage the enemy and request back. Anarchy! Anarchy! That stupid thing. Land again so I can kill you. You silly Billy. I like how you pulled those extra two rockets out of your butt. It didn't even explain where you got them from. I was watching your payload. Those literally came out of nowhere. Oh, look what you did. What? He's like me, only emo. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! Why do you assume he stole it? Is it because he's black? It's because he's black. Yep, Sonic's a racist. Wow, he's fast. Hey, it's not his speed. He must be using the Chaos Emerald to warp the shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell. Good. Shadow. What is so this? Desert area. Completely unspecific. Just the desert area. Just let it go. You just don't know where to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who a thief. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. Ah! What? What was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Oh dear, Knuckles. Oh dear. Oh boy. Anyway, so Knuckles' stages are a little bit different, and Rouge's are as well. But we haven't gotten around to her yet, so I'll just focus on him. Basically, this is going to turn into a treasure hunt, where we have our little gym radar at the bottom. And we need to get clues to find out where the emerald pieces are, and the faster we can find them, the better score we get. Let's see, I got it tick down there at the bottom. Uh, dark place, swirling container. None of these are really helpful to me. Cons oh, oh hey, I just managed to randomly find one. That wasn't the one I was even going for. It's always good when that happens. Let's see, dark place, spinning container. So it's down here on this floor somewhere. Where exactly? I don't know. 
Oh, a little further down. Uh, up here? Yes? There we go. Okay, one more. So the next one should be... Do, 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 do. Grab a hint. At the bottom of a pillar. That's probably more likely to be up on top where all the pillars are at. Let's go up this. Fly over this way. But I'm not getting any ticks over here, so this probably isn't where it is. Go ahead and grab all those things. And it's peacock. Just for the heck of it. Was I right? Yes, I was right. Not only that, I can grab a special animal, because it looks exactly like Spire of the Dragon. That's interesting. Anyway, that was pretty fast. Normally, I have trouble with those. So that's the gist of Emerald Finding Stages. We'll be doing a lot of those with Knuckles. He doesn't really have anything other than that. Not too bad. I guess I did horrible considering I got a C rank, though. Jeez. Game is so unforgiving, you have to do everything in like five seconds or else it's like, you fail! Lower score for you! We can take another little venture to Chow World and I can go on about what's going on a little better. Okay, so if you haven't figured out the deal with the whole Chow thing yet, basically the, the gist is we are doing the Tamagotchi. You come back from playing the levels if you have a key, and you can give your little chow buddy um, an animal to increase its stats. And eventually we'll be able to name these, but not right now because I don't think we have the ability to yet. We have to go to the dentist, the chow doctor or something before we can name them. And I have names picked out for both of these creatures. So we'll get around to that eventually. But, until then, we are going to basically now ignore this one. I'm going to give a shit about it. But this one, we are going to give all of the things in special treatment. Because he is amazing. And we will learn that he is amazing over time. He looks amazing, doesn't he? It looks like some sort of crazy furry slash Spyro the Dragon hybrid right now, but his stats are going up pretty well. Let me give him a fruit. Eat your fruit. Consume it. Om nom 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 nom. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. There's no mistake about it. This must be the island. It's a secret military base that is reinforced and super strong. It's called Prison Island. I heard the news about it on satellite TV. I still can't believe that Sonic would destroy the military building or rob the bank. Wait for me, okay, Sonic? I'm on my way. What? Hey, look, it's Amy. And Eggman, too. What's Amy doing here? Doesn't matter. I have to help Amy because she's in danger. Tornado transformation! It's really weird that it throws you into a boss fight with Tails without really even knowing what your mech is capable of. But yeah, in Sonic Adventure 2, Knuckles... I mean, not Knuckles, Derp. Tails and Dr. Eggman are the mech fighting people. All of their levels involve these mechanical things that they made and blowing up stuff. Hey, how's that? Relatively easy. But yeah, I love Tails' levels. They're really fun. We'll get to it shortly. This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Wow, Tails! You did it! But what are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Don't you know it's dangerous here? I 
know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Again? Hurry! I know Eggman's up to no good again. Okay, you stay here and I'll be right back. Prison Lane! This is really good. It's working out that we can do exactly one of everyone's levels to start this thing off. Okay. Might just be because I'm flying, because I remember all of this like the back of my hand. We'll eventually get the ability to blow up those iron crates, but we can't right now. So we basically have to just follow the basic path through here. But yep, the gist of the controls with Tails is using the B button to lock onto things, and the more things you lock onto at once, the better your multiplier is. Also, Tails says okay a lot, we're just gonna have to get used to that. It's sort of endearing after a while. Oh wow, I almost freaking ran straight smack into that guy. Ah! Damn it, I was doing so good at not getting hit by things. Okay. Uh, and I was doing so good at targeting multiple things too. Yes, it has been ages since I've played this. All of my reflexes I used to have are pretty much gone. What's in here? Oh. Tails, don't complain. You've got plenty of power. Thank you for telling us that, little guy! Because I was about to say that later, but you saved me the trouble! Fantastic. By the way, when your inventory fills up of little companion pets and whatnot, you can't get any more, and it just kind of throws away whatever you've acquired earlier, which is kind of annoying. Basically means if there's an animal that you're looking for specifically, you have to get it and then avoid picking up anything else throughout the rest of the level, which is kind of hard to do, admittedly. Let's blow all this stuff up. Head through here! Destroy boxes! Target things! Son of a bitch! I hope I killed him. Can I go up on this platform? Yes. Good. Oh god! I forgot I don't have that upgrade yet. Great. That's the reason my controls are horrible? Yes, it's because I don't have any of the upgrades I remember. Good. Good. Fantastic. This is a good point for me to introduce um, something about the music. Every particular character in this game has their own special kind of music for all their levels. Like, Sonic's are really poppy and really fast, while Tails' are sort of bouncy, but they have a mechanical sort of vibe to them, usually. Son of a bitch! Damn it! I almost got that guy. You get extra points if you hit the gold scarab things. And we can't get that unicorn because we need an upgrade in order to get it. That we'll be getting later. And I'll talk about that when I get to it. Eh. Sneaky little bugger hiding around the corner from me. I know there's gonna be a dude flying. Yep. Yeah. Knew it! Ambushing bastards! Gotta be all finicky. You can't open the door until you kill everything in this room. That makes so much sense. Everything works off of Zelda physics. Okay. It. Is there anything we need to... Oh, we have to look back. That's right. Okay. I just did that on reflex. I didn't even remember that. Okay. Fantastic. And then the end of the level. Already. Oh, son of a bitch! Missile, 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 missile. Whew. 
I was doing so good at keeping my rings. Now this is another thing where, like, if we had the necessary upgrades we could go further, but we don't have them, so... We'll come back here eventually, though. I did it! I'll have to do an upgrade run once I get a few things unlocked later that are just part of the main storyline. Very good! It's not good enough! I want A ranks of everything! And back to Chow World, and we're probably going to leave off after we visit Chow World for the third time. Because we've done a lot in just a very short time span. <laughs> like, a lot. Uh, I'm trying to go back and remember now, because it kind of happened so fast that I didn't get a chance to explain anything. Basically, this game is divided up into run stages, stages where you control mechs and gym finding stages and you're not always finding exclusively gems but that's pretty much what it is it's always some sort of finding mission or something normally you get a lot more animals from uh, knuckles of stages you get a lot more drives from tails of stages and sonic stages you get a mixture of both it's just kind of how it works out but the Chow Garden itself is no, it's not an impact on the game, it's pretty much a separate game that you can play alongside Sonic Adventure 2 storyline. And what we're doing right now is we're leveling up our little guy and we're trying to give him a really good stat distribution. So when he levels up, he will be a normal type hero Chow. And we'll unlock the hero place, and we'll take him up there later. But now that I have a pause and a break, I can actually think for a little bit. What else have we done that I should probably explain? Oh, right, the boxes. You might have noticed that I picked up three boxes on some stages, two boxes on others, blah. Well, the way boxes work is the first box gives you a key, and if you get the t key, you get automatically warped to Chow Land at the end of the stage. If you get the second box, you get a bunch of animals. The third box gives you a special animal, which is either a unicorn, a dragon, or a phoenix, or something else that I can't remember at the moment. There's one animal that causes you to lose body parts, and it's very strange. Um, but that's the entire gist of the game as far as mechanics are concerned. As far as it's going on in the story, because this game actually has a really good story, um, that you may or may not believe, because, uh... Considering so far, all you've seen of the story is Sonic was apparently in trouble for something, and then Knuckles got something stolen from him, which is two completely different storylines for the moment. They're not converging yet. And then Tails showed up to the prison where Sonic's being held to bust him out. A la Giant Mech. So that's pretty much what's going on in the story right now. Um, none of that is really explained if you're looking at it from the hero's side of things. It's just sort of... Sonic was obviously framed for something he didn't do. Because he's not evil. And... God knows who's the, who this person is screwing with Knuckles. But they appear to be quite annoying. And that's about the gist of the game so far. So we're gonna let our chow buddy eat. I need to come up with a name for him. I'm pretty sure I already have one though. And we're gonna continue to annoy and abuse this other redheaded stepchild of a thing. Because, um, he sucks and no one likes him. Drown, you little bastard. Drown. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 